Hello, it's Uncommon Fossil, and today I want to talk about how to approach the release of a new set as a budget player, and in particular, how to approach getting the new cards. Uh, back in PTCGO, which, which you're probably familiar with, um, I found that I had to wait to get the newest cards, but that was a supply-demand economy based upon trading. The newest cards always had, and they're new, the lowest supply and the greatest demand. As time went by, obviously people would open more packs, the supply would increase, and the demand would also decrease, so things became cheaper to acquire over time. So waiting some to, to acquire the newest cards was very beneficial in PTCGO. Now, we don't have a supply demand economy in live we have fixed pricing which is set by pokemon so therefore prices won't decrease over time so it, it raises the question is there a benefit to waiting to craft the newest cards or not right i i know i would like to get the newest cards right away and i'm sure you do also but we only have so many resources and if we're if we're not careful with them over time we'll, we, we will run out right right now i have a good number of credits, 44,000 credits that can craft a lot of new cards, which is terrific. But I, if I, but if I burn through them too quickly, I will run out of cards eventually. So there is a possibility that it's better to wait in live to acquire the new cards, and the reason for that is because of the battle pass, in particular, the basic battle pass. Uh, the premium battle pass is a good value, you certainly get that, but within the basic battle pass, all the packs you get are the newest set, which is Scarlet and Violet here. So you're gonna open, as you unlock these tiers, you're gonna open a lot of packs as you work your way all the way through to tier 50. The question is, how much will I save by waiting to craft the cards till after I have completed the battle pass, right? Because if the more packs I open, the more of the cards I want I will get, the less cards I actually have to spend my credits on to craft for this set, so I'll have more credits in the future for future cards. Plus, quite frankly, there are some V-Stars and V-Maxes and such that I want to craft, and those are certainly more expensive. So um, I want to utilize my resources wisely as a budget player. So I'm setting up an experiment here. I'm utilizing the fact of the new expansion as a way to test out this question. Is it better to wait to craft these cards? Uh, so I know there'll be some savings. The question is, how much will there be? So I've put together this, quote, test deck. It's 74 cards. When I put it together the other day, I didn't own any of the cards in this list. These are all Scarlet and Violet cards, and I put together this list from a video by Omnipoke where these were cards that he recommended people purchasing. Some he thought would be competitively viable. Some would just, just kind of get in case that they may be useful down the road. So no energy, but a few uh, supporters. Oh, none of these cards are included in the that I'm, I'm are in this deck list that I put together. I don't have any copies of these cards from the decks you get on tier zero in the battle pass, nor in the new starter deck. So these are all cards that I didn't have any, at least when I started this yesterday. So there's four trainers, the numbers like four Mesa Goza's, three Miriams. I've actually picked up a Miriam in them since since I started this, which is nice. Uh, two picnic baskets, two pennies. I'm not going to go four pennies. Apologies. I got these numbers from Omnipoke's video. And it's a mix of Pokemon, some common Pokemon. I think there are some uncommons, rares, and also some EXs like Oinkalone EX, which looking to get four of those. So I put together th this set of cards that I would like, a potential a hypothetical buy list, not necessarily what I'm going to want, but at least it's a place to start with to test. And I went through what it would cost to acquire all these cards, and it would cost me 16,000 credits. So I've, I've made a note of that. It would take me 16,000 credits to craft all these cards. I have more than that at, at like 44,000 credits, but like I said, I don't want to burn through these credits quicker than I have to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to craft any new Scarlet and Violet cards until after I have completed the battle pass. So I'm going to get through all 50 tiers before I craft any cards. That's what I'm, the, the, the goal I've set myself to see how much I save, right? So I want to see how much less will it cost me to craft these cards 
after tier 50 right now at 16,000. Does it drop by much? Is it meaningful? Um, and also within that, I want to see how much, how many credits and crystals I gain over this time period too, because that will give me a sense of how useful was it to wait, right? Do, do I need to be careful about this or is the gain very marginal? So I've set that myself as a goal. I'm going to wait to tier 50 to start crafting the cards in that deck that I showed you. And I, I'm, what I'm going to do is I am going to post that this deck list on in the video so you can see it yourself. And if you want to follow along and do this test yourself, you can uh, copy th this deck list in the live, into live yourself. And I will let you know how it goes. I'll give a few updates along the way. And certainly at the end, once I hit to tier 50, I will let you know what the savings of this was. Now, what am I going to do in the meantime? Obviously, I'm still going to play Pokemon because I have to do the daily challenges and I want to play Pokemon. You know, what do I have? I have these eight starter decks that are new that I'm just going to start to work with. There's the Maridon EX, the Gardevoir EX decks that that they're giving us on the Battle Pass. And then there's old decks that are still certainly viable in some in, in, in modified forms. Mew VMAX certainly is there. Lost Zone is certainly still around. Lugia Archaeops, obvious, with uh, probably a single strike build. So there's going to be a lot of decks I have to play with, so I won't have, I don't think I'll have any difficulty of finding things to play that I'll enjoy over this period. I, I hope it takes a lot less than 50 days, but we'll see. It'll t take me at least a month. So uh, take care, and um, hope we all enjoy Scarlet and Violet, and I also hope Pokemon TCG Live works well for all of us. Take care.